Hello everybody, welcome to my new Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Uh, this game is actually going to be, like, not even twice as long as Pikmin. But, I really wanted to do it since I got all this recording thing down. So anyway, we're just going to stick with Link. Because my other names don't fit, and we're going to keep our horse name as Epona. And, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this game was originally released on the Nintendo GameCube, and was re-released for the Wii for the motion controls. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dust falls? They say it's only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the, the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Link. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? You have... Never been a Hyrule, right? I guess we not haven't. In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is a castle town. Or castle town, not a castle town. A community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. Alright. So, we're gonna get started here. Now, unfortunately, the beginning is really, really long and dry, and there's no action. It's just collecting things. But it gets really good at towards the end, or towards when you get, like, going and stuff. Alright, so we're carrying our horsey Pona after a long day's work. Now, I like to compare this game to the Ocarina of Time, except for this little province. Every single other place is from Ocarina of Time. So I thought it was really cool how they did that. But anyways, we'll remember this place later. It'll be important. Now, um, actually, while we're doing this, I have a little bit of a change going on right now. I'm going to do two Let's Plays. Yes, two Let's Plays. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, you you hardly even update the one that you're already on. And there, I have a solution for that. I'm going to be uploading um, two out of the seven days. So, uh, one will be from one Let's Play, and the other will be for the other, obviously, in their respective locations. Um... Anyways, I just thought I want to clear that up right now. She takes her horse. That's my horse! Hey, Link! Hey. You there? My battery died. My battery's dying. Oh my gosh, this thing doesn't work. My Wii Charger station is not working to the best of it, it can do. Oh my gosh, seriously? Uh, let me go find batteries. Buy some new batteries. Alright, let's take batteries from this Wii Remote, I guess. Probably gonna cut this part out. If at all possible, probably not. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. My recharging station is crap, I guess, for lack of a better term. Alright. And I to think I could save on batteries, but I guess not. And while I'm at it. Well back back on since that back won't work. Alright. There we go. 
Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They listen to me lately. Sure, I'll be down in just a minute. Hey, where's Epona? Oh, as you can remember, that girl took our horse. Jerk. Alright, and now we can actually play! Ooh, okay, so this is us, Link. We can do stuff, like we can roll around if we move. But we got this fairy that you can use with the pointer. Doesn't really do anything. We can Z-target. Just like any other game. And if we do that... Oh, wait. Never mind. And we can talk to people. Hey. Alright, I guess we need to go find a Pona. Oh, I just remembered something. There's something back at our house. Now, you need an item to go find this, but I think I can find it without it. If not, then I guess not. Alright. We're in our house. It's an, actually a pretty nice house. We can go up, but that's not what I really want to do. Come on, Link. You can do this. I believe in you. Drop down. And see, it's all dark, so we can't see anything. But I think if we just head straight this way... Nope, I guess you need your lantern. Well, it was good to explore. Explore our house is very good. See how we we're living in. If we're like a hobo or a ritzy man. But I think we're like comfortably in the middle. Which is a good place to be. Alright. Let's check up here, I guess. Since we're up here. Nice. Can we... There we go. I almost forgot how to play this game. We'll meet those guys later. That's your horse. And that's... This thing that we will this is the goats. I don't know why I almost said that that's something you're going to see later. It's just goats. And here is our little window. Oh, we can check outside. That's that's cool. I never knew that. Hello! Hello over there! Alright. Huh. I've had this game for like 12 years and I never knew that. Alright. Back! Oh. What? Oh, it's because we're in our house, is it? Dang it. It's going to show off something, but I guess not. Jerk. Alright. Let's go outside. Ignoring you. Alright, so something you can do is that if you Z-target and you press back and A, you will do a backflip. You can get down those kind of ledges easier. And another thing, um, you can go sidestep step by holding Z and pressing A and left and right. Okay, so, and if you do it with the four, you can just keep rolling again. Alright, so now let's go find our horsey opponent. Enough fooling around. Let's get some business done. All right. I'm gonna show her what for. All right, you have my horse, so give her back. You have some explaining to do. Oh, hi, Link. I washed Epona for you. Oh, great. Now I feel bad. She was actually helping us. Jeez. Some people. So happy. Quote, end quote, NCS. Alright, let's speak to her again. Epona is a girl, too, so you have to treat her nice like one. Oh, but listen, Link, can you do something for me? Oh, it seems like everybody now has something for me to do. You can use a piece of grass to play that song for me, you know, the one the opponent likes. That is something else. You do not have an ocarina in this game. Instead, you get grass. Now, if you recognize that tune, it is the opponent's song from Ocarina of Time. It's the same exact one, which is really cool. It is such a nice melody. Epona looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back, but don't make her 
do too much, okay? Yeah, it seems like that this girl's worried more about the horse than I am. Jeez. You'll see what I mean later, once we get done with some stuff. Alright. So now we have our horse. Very majestic. You can press A and dash forward as money spurs as you have on the bottom. If you don't have any spurs, she will slow down immediately. I believe. I, I don't really remember. Alright, but that's really all we can do control-wise. You can move around her. Don't think you can get do any cool tricks on her right now. But we will! Don't worry, though. It'll all come. Alright, this is our village. It's kind of weird our how, how our house is separate from the rest of the village. Welcome to Ordon Village. Jeez, what's that guy doing? Doing some kind of swords and like maneuver. Alright, so let's get started. You're gonna wanna take Epona. Oh, jeez. And we wanna go. this. It's been so long since I played this game. Yes, this way, I believe. Okay, now this is the mayor right here. I don't think we need to talk to him, but I'm just gonna, just in case. Get the wrench ahead. Alright, so we're gonna finish our chores. That's how we get paid the, our allowance, you know, each week by doing our chores. Alright, so now we are in. And there's some grass in case you need to call the one. I don't know why you need to. We're in Ordon Ranch. Alrighty then, let's get started. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Link. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how's about you and Epona herd them into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time, so do you think you can do it for me? I suppose we can. Alright, so all you need to do is just basically make it so that they run into the barn. Like, they're gonna, the goats are gonna avoid you, so you have to make it so that they run in the direction of the barn. And there's two. Goat in, goat in. Yeehaw! Get along, little doggies. Get inside that barn. Okay, I was like, did he go in? No, and then apparently he did. Now, I'm not sure how to... I, I don't even remember how to do this, but... I'm... I think if you whoop... Enough times... They will get mad at you. But it will also make them faster. Like the radius of your of how they run is increase, but there's a way to make these guys mad and ram at you. And I'm just letting you know right now, I'm pretty terrible. And that's funny. Fado like runs away if you ever get too close to him. All right, get inside the barn, you little you little sheep. Go in, go in, go in, go in. All right, I think there's only ten. Yeah, there's ten of these. There's a there's a counter right here. I think that would help. All right, come on, goats. Now, what really sucks is when they get along the perimeter. Then you have to make like a full circle, especially if there's only one of them. Jeez. Go in, and last but not least, the one in the back corner. Thought you could get away from me. Well, no, because I'm Link. Get in the barn, you stupid goat. All right, and all the goats are in. Sweetness. Link, Epona, much obliged to both of y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you, so just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but uh, how about today? Want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get the fences set up. Now, this isn't a new mechanic. I mean, this was in Ocarina of Time, and... Uh, Majora's Mask and everything. But you can hop over fences. All you have to do is just press A when near it, and she'll jump. Here, I'll show it, show it again. Okay, so yeah, you can jump with the Pona if you've done it the right time. Okay, but now let's just jump over this fence. Hey, Epona. <laughs> Epona!
Yeah, there we go. Now we now we can go. Do I want to save? That might be helpful if I save. Alright, let's save in this one, since this is our save file. Yeah, there we go. Save your progress during the game, press plus, then choose the save option on the bottom left corner of the collection screen. Sweet. So we can, uh, so like Ocarina of Time, we can save whenever we want, and we don't have to deal with, like, the Majora Mask crap. Gosh. I feel so bad for the Japanese and how they had to deal with that. Alright, so now we awake again into these little brats. Hey, wake up, Link. It's morning already. Jeez. I don't know about you guys, but I am not a morning person. I try to sleep in as late as I can. And if you asked anybody that I knew, especially my family, they would agree with me. Alright, so... Unfortunately, it looks like these kids are like early morning risers. All right. Woo! I'm so fancy. All right. So, what do you kids want? Oh, Link, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. I just remembered why this was so dry. I knew it was dry, but I just remembered why. All right. Uh, here we go. Now, I'm gonna let you know right now, I don't know this game in and out. I am not... I'm not, I am a... I am a Zen Zelda fanatic. In fact, I can't wait for Hyrule Warriors to come out. And that was me dropping my remote. <laughs> but, I don't know this game in and out. I'm not that big of a Zelda fan. So, what I proposed on doing is getting a certain website that you might have heard of if you've ever wanted 100% a Zelda game before but don't remember how to is using Zelda Dungeon and I just clicked on the wrong one I was playing Ocarina of Time before this yeah I'm already like at like the Gerudo Fortress and I'm trying to get that hard piece with the bone arrow I cannot win those games for some reason but anyways, enough about me and my struggles. Uh, let's see. I want a walkthrough. Please. Ordon Village. Okay, there we are. Alright, so, let's see. Goat herding. Children of Ordon. All right. So we got lots of stuff to do. We have to get a fishing rod, it looks like. Um, we have to shoot down a beehive. I know, right? That's so smart. And we have to find a cat. And... Okay, if, I'm sorry. I won't be like this in any other parts. I just was unprepared. I was like, you know what? I'm going to start a new Let's Play now. Wait. Oh, we have to find a baby, too. That, so we have lots of stuff to do. But anyways, I won't be this unprepared. I'll have, like, the Zelda dungeon up, and I'll have... I don't want to talk to you. That's the girl that we have to find the baby for. But this is what we want, actually. Yo, Link. Try talking to me from there with A while Z targeting. Yeah, I've already showed this before. Hey, there you go. Over here. Yeah, your voice carries well, as usual. Think you could teach my little tights to talk to someone from a distance while Z targeting? So listen, why don't you climb up the, those mines over there, Link? Okay, so... Another monotonous thing. Mine climbing. Look how slow he climbs. 
Jeez. Oh, you didn't think that was that bad? There's like lots more vines that are gonna come, don't you worry. Then they're gonna be longer than that. Alright. So that's the cat we need to get. Okay, so that's a clue on what we have to do. Oh yeah, auto jumping. All you have to do is just go on a ledge and then just, it'll hop for you. Very easy. We can do that like everywhere. We can go on top of the roof. Alright, so you see that monkey? We need that monkey. This is a new song, I really don't know what it is. Alright, but this will call a hawk for us. And then if we aim... We can get... The monkey! Yeah, and then he brings it back to us. Good little hawk, yeah. Okay, so now we gotta give this over to the lady. It'd be so sad if I just, like, threw this in the water. Alright. And here you go, lady. I found your cradle. Oh, Link! That cradle! Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I am supposed to give you. Do you think you can carry that cradle and come with me back to that my house? And she walks ever so slowly. I think we. I don't know if this turns into cutscene if we get here before her. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. My thanks to you, Link. If you haven't guessed, this is Colin's mother. The guy. There's another guy that we'll meet later. Yes, yes, I had nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. Alright, here you go. <gasps> we got a fishing rod. Simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set it to B on the minus screen and press B to hold it. Lower the Wii mode and cast in the water and raise it to pull it in. You can fish with that with just that hook, but you can catch a wider variety of fish if you use bait. It is a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Okay. So remember that fishing game in Ocarina of Time? Yeah, it's back. Um, but it's not as bad as before, in my opinion. Okay, now we gotta find that cat. Jeez. Which she's over here. Um, there's a merchant over there who has lost her cat. And she won't sell you like really anything unless you get this her cat back. And plus, there's a reward in it for you if you do. So, you might as well do it. Hello, little cat. Do you want, do you want some help? Alright, so now we gotta go to our items. Point the item you want to use and set it with B. Press B to use it. Alright, we wanna use... That. Okay. Alright, we already did that. Alright, so now we got the fishing rod. Now, unlike the, the Nintendo GameCube, we do have, like, slots, but we can't use them, like, as much as we want. Like, automatically, you have to, like, set it to B and stuff. Okay, so now we just have to wait until it goes down. Like that, and then fish on! Yeah! There we go. You caught a green gill. These small fries are everywhere. Alright, so what did that do? It brought a heart. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? Well, we, it turns out you have to do it again. It's not really that inconvenient. I mean, it's really easy to catch a green gill, but I can see how some people find it inconvenient. Oh, come on, green gill. Oh, come on! Alright, green gill. Please. Please. Fish on! Yeah, fish on! This really isn't very exciting. I'm not even doing anything. I still caught it. You caught a green gill. These small fries are everywhere. You can catch these all the time, so press A to release it. And because of that, we activated him getting a fish. If you remember what he was saying before, uh, that guy, the cat was trying to fish, and they really couldn't fish, so we helped him. And he goes back to the shop. Alright, so we can put this away. Hooray. 
Rhyming for the win. Oh, dang it. Get there faster, Link! Yeah, this is it. This is no more the cat door. There's also a sign there that you can read to see if you are in the right place, but I'm lazy. Okay, so Sira's Sundries. Oh my, Link, come in! You simply must hear this. My little cat is so amazing. Today he caught a fish all by his little old self. She doesn't know that we helped him. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. Oh, just look. Isn't he so cute the way he laps up that milk? Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. We get a milk in a bottle! But more importantly, we get a bottle. Unfortunately, this bottle's half empty, said to be. On the minus screen, use it to replenish three hearts. You get two uses of milk. Unfortunately, since this one's only half, e this one is half full. Yeah, I'm a positive person. We only get to use it once, so that's a thing. All right, so now. Let's see. What do we have next? Let's see... Alright, shield... Okay, we got that. So now we're gonna go ruby hunting, yes, because we have to buy an item that's not even gonna be that's only gonna be used like only a few times. It sucks, I know. We are gonna go up these vines that I'm gonna so hate. And we wanna use this. By the way, the bees that we're gonna attack. They can hurt you, so just be on your guard. It only takes away quarter part, but for this early of the game, quarter part can mean all the difference. Okay, so now we got a point again. We want to aim for this. And... Set free! Yeah, there we go. Oh, I thought the bees were coming after me. I'm like, oh no. Okay, so that's gonna help us with this scoop. Okay. Uh, let's... No, actually, no. Let's not. I'd rather have milk than bee larvae. Which only you can put on your fishing rod, but I'm not... I have only fished once. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. I can't even get him to climb, like, consecutively. Look how slow he's going. This is ridiculous. I don't know why they made him this slow when going up, but they did make him this slow when going up. Oh my gosh. Take the, took him like 30 seconds to get up here. Alright, now we gotta be extra super duper careful. Okay, so we got a blue ruby and a yellow ruby. Rupee, I'm sorry. Okay, so blue is cost 5. And yellow should cost 10. Yeah, there we go. Now, I believe... Just drop down. I didn't care. Oh, there's... And green rupees cost 1. Alright, so that's there. Now, I believe... Uh, we, yeah, we do need to get the slingshot. The slingshot... It is about 30 rupees, so now we have to find 20, or no, 12 more. You can throw pumpkins, they will sometimes yield rupees. If you don't remember, you have to do this in order to get the Deku shield back in Ocarina of Time. More time, um, more uh, parallels to that game. 
screen. See, this is what's so monotonous. And it's random if those rupees are, like, gonna yield one. Yeah, there's rupees and grass, like in the old game. And if you had a, something to cut it down with, you would also, some like, give ru rupees. Somehow, I don't know, grass, like, makes money. Well, I guess it makes sense, because money comes from trees. Well, I heard a, I heard a rupee. Okay, oh, it was only three. That's kind of disappointing, actually. Okay, and you can throw... You can pick up rocks in order to get rupees. Actually, we only need one more. This isn't as monotonous as I thought it was. And we can earn... We can afford to buy this long shot now. We got 30. Wait, is this a shop? I don't even know my way around here. I think this is where you get the slingshot. I could be wrong. Okay, this is gonna be a long video because A, I've been like using the guide and stuff, and B, I wanna get this beginning out of the way because it's really slow. Okay, so this isn't the right house. There is a cute doggy though, and watch this. So cute, he's carrying a puppy! Alright, back down you go. So cute. Alright, now we have to actually find the shop. Ow. Well, not really ow, but we can do this. Is this the shop? I really don't know. Check. Fado's house. No. Wow. If you would have beam that up yourself, props to you, but they probably would have stung you like crazy. It's locked, so that wasn't the round. Link! You, it doesn't, didn't work the first time, it's not gonna work the second time. Alright, anyways. There's not really any more houses. Where the crap is this slingshot? Oh my gosh. It's not here, is it? Oh my gosh. Failing. So badly! Okay, so we can go in here. This is not it, is it? Nope. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. I probably should have practiced this before I actually let's played it, but I really wanted to start a let's play since I've been depriving you of videos. But at least you're getting a long one. If you really don't want to watch this, you can like skip ahead until I actually do find it because I'm planning on just not cutting it because then the audio gets mixed up. This is just his house, isn't it? This doesn't actually lead. Oh, okay. Stupid girls in there. Buy your time. Whatever. Where the crap is this place? I am- I always get turned around right here, like I am always like trying to figure out what to do next. Is it? Where the cat lives? If that's it, then I'm gonna like... I'm gonna punch somebody. It is. Crap. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we can get milk for 10 rupees. We get bee larvae as fishing bait. And we get a slingshot with 50 pellet. So yeah, we want to buy this. Alright, so slingshot. This, is, this was an Ocarina of Time 2. Very simple. I'll show what it, it, I'll show you what it does in just a minute because there's like a little thing that I eat, where I have to use it like very very soon. Okay, so that's done. I think now we can go back. See, the reason why we couldn't buy that slingshot before is because we need the cat in order to get the cat. We need to get the cradle in order to get the cradle. We need the hawk, and <gasps> that's why it's so dry. <laughs> All right. Combat training. Okay, so 
Ah, just in time, Link. I, d I delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Colin will be pleased. And it works better than you th would think, right? Well, have a good one. Well, thank you. He's Colin's dad, I believe. Okay, so right over here is Colin. He's just, you know, taking care of our horse. Oh, you got it. I hope you like it. And as you can see, there's a spider there. Okay, so what we can do is we can go to our slingshot. Press B. I guess I can put this on one of these buttons. Alright. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so we're done. Now if we Z target, pull our slingshot, and just hit it down, it'll do that. It'll destroy these little spider things. And we can also do it without Z targeting, and then we have to actually point and shoot. So like... Oh, hold on. I hit her. Oh, she dunks. Okay, so now we get. Let's go see what uh, Colin's dad has brought us. See, climbing ladders is much more faster than uh, climbing vines. But as I, I tend to like forget about that towards like the end of the game because there's not as many vines, so I don't care. And look, it's a treasure chest. You get a wooden sword. It was returned to you fully repaired. It's easy to use. Just swing the rear mode. Now this is why. The game got a uh, re-release on the Wii. So we can use motion controls with our sword. Fortunately, this sword is not very powerful. It's only wood. It doesn't really have an edge to it. But we can, like, do that. We can just hit people with it. Do combos. If we see target, we can do, like, a different combo. And if we... S and if we, uh... Shake the both and nunchuck and the Wii remote together, you'll do a spin attack. If I can show it off again. Oh my gosh, I can't. There we go. Unfortunately, you have to wait until you have to charge back up again to use it again. But that's okay. Okay, so let's speak to, the, to these guys. Link has a slingshot! Whoa! Wow, you had enough money to buy it, Link? Okay, so now we're gonna do combat training. Preparations are complete. Okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and the scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. These two will never let it go, Link. Just show them. Okay, so this is where the aiming comes in. target the scarecrows that makes it so easy that's amazing link you know you can tilt the the control stick to look around while you use the slingshot it says so in the slingshot manual did you just call us obsessed with this thing you're the one memorizing the manual okay let's do that again sweetness okay now let's aim for the targets oh gotcha Mostly, actually, all the items will have this kind of thing if, when you're not Z-targeting, is that you have to actually point and shoot. There we go. Whoa, amazing, Link! If you walk on a Z, then you don't have to aim with the cursor at all. As I told you before. Gee, you really are amazing, Link. Yeah, you are. You can use swords and slingshots and everything. Hey, yeah, that reminds me. You've got to teach us how to use a sword, too. Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want them good. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. Fine. Yes. Yeah. Alright, first off, we want to see that move. The slice. Um, you just swing, right? Yeah, like, like that. Hiya! Whoa, a vertical slice! Well, was, was that it? Was it? I think I've seen you do a horizontal slice too. You know, just by swinging the control, or the Wiimote. Alright, next. Oh, oh, I want to see the other move, Link. Yeah, you target with Z and then you tilt forward and swing. Oh, please, the stab. So just do that, and... 
That was not it. That was so great, Link, but that wasn't a stone. What are you mumbling about? Did Link did that on purpose? Okay. That's kind of funny, actually. There we go. Stab. Ooh, Link, just amazing. Since, since you're at it, how about you show us the other move? You know, the little twirly thing that you, you do? I love that. What do you call it? A spin attack? You just simply lightly shake the nunchuck side to side. Oh, I've been doing it wrong. Dang it. Alright. There you go. Oh, wow. Thanks, Link. Sorry to have wasted your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait, you gotta show us this jump attack before you go. You know the one where you go, hi -ya! and lean through the air? The thing you do with, with A while Z targeting? Yeah, the thing you do with A while Z targeting! Whoa! Thanks, Link. So, uh, I I think I get it. Kind of. Maybe not. So this means that anytime one of those Nani's monkeys show up, Wah! Oh, it's a cute baby monkey. Come here, you! Oh my gosh. The children are, are going after the monkey. What will we do? What will we do? Find out next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess.